We uh, talked about it a second ago in the six-pack, but uh, lots of stuff going on this weekend, including the home opener for your Charlotte Checkers Sunday at 3 o'clock. And uh, it's time for our annual visit from Jason Shia, play-by-play genius for your Charlotte Checkers. Shia, what's up? Hey, guys. Good morning. How you doing, man? Well, I'm still on Central Time, so this is very early for me. Yeah, you, you, the, the Checkers have been playing for, what, Five weeks? Six weeks? Uh, a year, it feels like, on the road. <laughs> and this is your home opener on Sunday. Yeah, well, I think uh, someone said we the latest home opener in all of professional sports. How many games have you already during played? during this season. <laughs> <laughs> How many games have you already played? What's the record so uh, far? Six, two, and one. We've played. Uh, that adds up to nine. Is, oh, thank you. <laughs> Hang on. Let me do the math. Uh, uh, yep, he's correct. Yes. Yep. Nice job. Nine games before a home game. That's awesome. Schedule's on your side this year, no doubt about it. Well, you know what? Coming back with 6-2-1 and one as a record, that's having a, played all nine of the road, that's pretty good. That is awesome. That is awesome. Actually. Yeah, it's really good. So. Most importantly, when you come in, it gives us a chance to play other people's play-by-play calls from hockey games. I heard so. some on the way over. I, <laughs> I can't thank you enough for coming back in. And even though you still haven't managed to drop any of these types of things in on your own broadcast. McKay back to Bomeister, over to the far side. Froelich takes a feed for Bomeister, fires, he scores! L.A. face with an Oakland booty. I, I must say that, uh, and of course, uh, the great Randy Muller doing the uh, the calls there. Um, the you, great Randy Muller. Yeah, well, are you kidding me? <laughs> the great Randy Come Muller. on. Do I need to give you more proof? <laughs> Scratchton steps in. Fires a shot. He scores! Carlos Scratchton. And I draw ding-dongs on people. <laughs> you, you gotta I give stand me. correct. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, I will say that you were very cooperative last year. And uh, a tip of the cap to you. Because uh, for those who weren't around last year or weren't listening during the hockey season, we had put out a little challenge to, uh, to Shia. And, and it started by, by you, if I remember correctly. He said, yeah, you tell me anything uh, that you want me to say during the hockey broadcast, and I'll, uh, I'll try and work it in naturally into the broadcast. I believe you're the one who kicked that off last year, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, it was, and maybe regret it. I, you know, I can't answer that one way or the other. Right, but you, we, you were, we were able to tweet at you and send you things like that, and you would try and work those phrases into your broadcast. Right, it was fun. I mean, it's a lot of fun. And remember, it's two and a half hours usually of me just talking to myself. So when I have something, you know, some interaction with any other human being while I'm in the booth... <laughs> It's great because you get to do something, but it's fun. I, I think we worked it in. Do you have uh, that? Do you have I, the... the email, the bagpiper, was my uh, certainly my favorite of the year. Here was that if you missed it. Stegman, he's got a stick tied up on him. He had some room. He's ready to email the bagpiper and call that one a day. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, Jigsy. Your boy Jigsy with the absolutely. So good. So good. <laughs> Man, those broadcasting classes are really paying off. Yeah. Right? Yep. <laughs> He does them online, so it's not fair, you know. But, yeah. <laughs> for the classes? Yeah, yeah, that's too bad. Yeah, for those who aren't familiar, uh, email the bagpiper. One of those great phrases that you can feel free to use as a euphemism for, um, well, anything you'd like, honestly. Yeah. But, oh, it becomes uh, anything you want it to be, man. Has, yeah. it, has, it, uh, has it trickled over into your own life? We use it in the office. Really? Yeah, yeah. So you just get up and ah, I'm going to go email the bagpiper. <laughs> no, that's no... Too easy, I, too easy. Yeah, you have to be creative, okay? Uh, well, <laughs> you're talking to the wrong guy over there. Why don't you just look at me now? <laughs> you ain't going to get any creativity on that side of the table. So, so how do you use it? Well, uh, I have to come up with a scenario, but, you know, if you're uh, it, you're sort of undercover, if you don't want someone to know what's going on, hey, what happened with those tickets you were supposed to give? Well, I emailed the bagpiper on that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got you. I like it. Yeah, so. That's, uh, yeah. Thank you very much. Like uh... Sort of a verb in that one, I, right? I like that. I, uh, I like it. The, uh, coming up the 24th, by the way, are, are, are you involved in the Checkers 5K run at all? Oh, no. <laughs> no, oh, I good. won't be. I I know you'll be there running in your. You said you're running in your gear. Yes, uh, I got somehow talked into because I was lipping off about all the five Ks that we did, the Isabella Santos five K, and I'm like, how how far is K? Yeah, it doesn't seem. Five K like, seems like it's not that. It's big eleven a deal. letters in. It can't be that far. That's that's <laughs> right. It, well, it's it's Canadian measurement, right? And everything smaller that's in Canada. True, absolutely. And so they're like, oh, Checker's got one coming up. Why don't you run it in your hockey gear? All right. Turns out 5K is like over three miles. Did anybody else know that? Yeah, I think I did know I that. I did actually. actually know that. I yeah. thought it was like 5,000 feet. I thought it was literally <laughs> like 5,000, 5,000 feet. Here we go. Let's run less than a mile in hockey gear. Not a problem. Will you be able to make it 
What do you think? I, have you seen him? <laughs> You're no, that's why I'm him. asking the question. Because <laughs> I'm looking right at him. Yeah. <laughs> you should know the answer. But yeah, I, I think we should take bets on that. I absolutely could make it. What's the furthest you've ever ran in your life? How far is the refrigerator? <laughs> How, uh, when you say hockey gear, then what are we talking about? Yeah, I'm yeah. talking about, uh, I'm, I'm not going to be wearing skates. I'll be wearing uh, shin guards. You're not going to wear skates? Yeah, it's already over out for crying out loud. Over, what a yeah. joke. Leggings, uh, shin guards. You hockey. should wear rollerblades, and then, no, you know, that would be your way of getting out of actually running it. Don't uh, give him any ideas. That's a fantastic huh? idea. Uh, yes. You're, you're welcome. Uh, going to be wearing shoulder pads, elbow pads, gloves. So not stick. goal, not goalie gear, but regular player I'm gear. I'm not a goaltender. What am I, a weirdo? Oh, I thought maybe, you, thought maybe you'd like to make it a challenge instead of yeah. just Why wussing out. Why don't you get an on this? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you couldn't do it in goalie gear. <laughs> You're That's right. I couldn't do it no. in goalie gear. You couldn't. You can't do it in regular How gear. How great will that gear smell after he's oh, done Oh, well, I've you... smelled his gear. That's <laughs> oh, right. No. Write it down. 814. Oh, no. I said it. I have smelled Woody's gear, and it's not Oh, good. he's writing it down. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> Shia, you need to come in here a little bit more often where Wilcox to admit to smelling my gear. <laughs> Jigsy, have I smelled his gear? Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> when, is that when, that when, when is that run actually When is that run actually happening? It's November 24th. It starts at uh, Time Warner Cable Arena. It, there's a free kids fun run. I think if you if you sign up early, it's it's 25 bucks. Go go to Go Checkers. All the information is on GoCheckers.com. You get a ticket to the game. You get a T-shirt. You get a, a right. pass to a party that we're having. I think uh, right after right afterwards, and, and there's a game that night, so it's going to be a lot of fun. It'll be a whole day event, and it goes to the uh, Checkers Charity, uh, so that it'll be great. Right, and this is their inaugural run; they've never done anything no, like first this. first time, and I guess participation is pretty high. And yeah, and it's good to news that uh, good to know that at least one person's almost going to die, me, during this <laughs> run. So I- even if you're not a runner, you can come out and watch a fat guy in hockey gear try and make it three point something miles. Well, hopefully, we have enough money to buy one of those defibrillators. <laughs> Keep yeah. it on standby. If you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. Whatever. Yeah, that's right. jumper cables. <laughs> it's not that important. Just put them right on the nipples. It'll be uh, it'll be fine. Next year when we do the run, part of the proceeds will go to his family. Oh, so it'll be. <laughs> oh man, that is brutal. <laughs> wow. We're talking to Jason Shire, the uh, play. Play-by-play play guy for the Checkers. Their home opener is Sunday at 3, Time Warner Cable Arena. Uh, tomorrow, there's like a all-skate with the Checkers or something, right? Yeah, at Extreme Ice and Indian Trails, our practice facility. If with a small donation, you go in and, and uh, skate around with the guys beforehand. So our guys are great. I think we have one of the best locker rooms of you know, uh, players. I've, I've been in quite some time. They're very, very friendly, and they love the, the city. A lot of players have been here for a couple of years now, so they're very familiar with our fans. But come, come skate with them. You get rental skates right there, so if you don't have any. And uh, it's a donation to charity, but it'll sh- it should be a lot of fun. I like to see Wilcox skate with, mm. the, with the checkers. I'm not a strong skater. <laughs> Some of our players aren't strong. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, Jigsy, come, come on, dude. On, That's not the right way it's to go. It's too easy. There. <laughs> well, we've actually got a uh, pair of tickets to give away for Sunday's home opener as well. So you can uh, dial up and get them now. 704-570-1065 or 800-934-1065. One catch there. You have to be able to come to the station today after 3 to pick up these tickets. So between like three and five, if you can do that, we've got a pair of tickets for you for Sunday's home opener for the uh, Charlotte Checkers. Shia, man, thanks for coming by. Thanks for having me. It's always fun to see you. And uh, are we going to be able to start working some stuff into the broadcast? Yes. Should I text you this weekend? Will you you be prepared for it this weekend? Just ask Jigsy. (laughs) <laughs> Jigsy? Jigsy will absolutely. do anything. Absolutely. <laughs> He'll do anything. <laughs> Ask him to work in absolutely. Work in <laughs> All right, man. We'll talk to you soon. It's Thanks, Jason guys. Shia, play by play for the Checkers. Home opener is Sunday at 3.